I'm Frank Seppi with NPCNewsOnline.com. I'm backstage at the first ever men's physique Olympia, and I'm standing here with third place finisher Matt Acton. Matt, how do you feel right now? Well, first of all, I want to say hello to everybody at NPC. I want to thank you, Frank, and you know, I, I'm ecstatic right now. I can't believe it. You know, it's a dream come true. You kind of like, you know, you're not a really publicized guy within the men's physique division. You know, you had almost like the underdog. Did you feel like you were the underdog coming in? You know what? I, I really actually did feel like I was the black horse underdog coming into this one. Now, I actually, I played into that a little bit. Uh, I'm usually, I usually do post, and I cut my post down. I was doing a video every week, and that's all they got to see of me. And um, I was just focusing on the competition, family, fr like close friends, and just that focus on the show. And it worked out in my favor. How did you get ready for this show? Who did you train with? Uh, I was actually training with one of my uh, teammates, uh, Peter Racanelli, out of Bev Francis Powerhouse. And, you know, it really does help to have a you know, training partner just to push you through those times. Sometimes, you know, you give yourself the break. You won't do the extra two reps. But when you have somebody, you know, that just shows up and, you know, he's more powerful than you, you know, it's just going to push you to the next level, especially when you're that depleted. So now you have a lot of high-profile physique guys training your gym, Sadiq Hazovic. A lot of people thought he was going to win. You know, unfortunately, came in fourth place, you know, for him. So, was he one of the people that fueled the fire? Um, yeah, I could, I could definitely say uh, Sadiq definitely fueled the fire a little bit, you know. Just seeing him every day at the gym, you know, I, I come in, I, I'm doing my own thing, and, he, you know, he's over there getting his hair combed by somebody, you know. <laughs> like, you know what, it, you it, know? It, 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 push, it pushes you. It pushes you to be better, you know? Like, it, when you're it, the underdog, it pushes no, it you to does. be better. It does. It's good, you know? Um, as far as what's your next step now? You came in third. What kind of improvements do you think you can make? The kind of improvements that I want to make on my own physique, I really, I, I still have an image in my head. I want to bring out more lines. I want to bring out more muscle quality. And I want to bring out more of the athlete in me. You know, I want to give you guys more videos. I want to show that it's not just all cosmetic. I want to show that, you know, most of us are athletes and, you know, we really compound the weights despite our size. You know, it's all about conditioning. It's all about aesthetics. It's always best, you know, you're one of the humblest guys. And, you know, obviously there are people who fuel the fire, but this is a, ver a sport where, you're up one day, you know, you're down the next. Next competition, someone can cut place ahead of you, you know. That's why you always have to stay on top of your game to be the best you can possibly be. And that's why you have to stay on your game in the background, too, because it's like if you fail on the stage, chances are sometimes, I mean, it could have just not been your day. It could have just, there could have been another group of people that were just right. bigger people and you weren't in that comparison. You know, that's sometimes not your fault. So if you could complete your work uh, on the outside, like, you know, I have shoots set up the rest of this week, you know, say I placed 10th or 11th, yeah. you know, I still was going to get my money's worth out of this Olympia. I still was going to work. I still was going to, you know, do my own job for self-promotion. And, you know, that's what, you know, all us athletes really got to work on doing. It's, you know, the work on both ends of the spectrum. Now, you got to rip down the, uh, you got to put up the Mark Anthony poster up on the wall now. Five titles, you know, that's something that, you know, to go after. That's going to be the fuel for the fire. When's the next show? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I don't know. I mean, I might be making some surprises at the end of this year. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. Like I said, I still have a little bit more room in my physique for conditioning this year. Um, I'm a very good, you know, I'm very good with my diet, so I'm very healthy when it comes to that. You know, I, I, obviously you could say I'm all energetic right now. Yeah. I feel great. You know, I still didn't even drink a water. It's just, you know, you go into things prepared. You go into things, you know, uh, healthy, and this is what you're going to, the end result. You know what I mean? Now it's time to go nuts in Vegas, right? Yeah, now it's time to have a little fun. <laughs> all right, uh, Matt Acton, third place in the first ever men's physique Olympia. A much deserving third place. I know him personally. Train really hard for the show, and congratulations, buddy. Thank you very much, Frank. I you appreciate it. it. Anytime.